Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, then my name is Shraddha and I make useful videos related to Germany. So today's topic is very important. It is about the skills that German market is looking for and are in high demand. So if you are looking for internship, thesis or even a job, then do not forget to watch this video till the end because you will be finding a lot more information in this video about the skills that are high in demand and how you can improve those skills and get certificates. And stay till the end of this video because I will be sharing one useful information how you can have free certificates so stay till the end. I'm going to talk about one by one what are the engineering as well as management skills that are high in demand so stay tuned till the end so that you do not miss any skills that are needed so let's start the video number one skill that everyone is asking for is ms office skill i know it sounds very obvious but so many of us do not know how to use ms excel powerpoint ms world and outlook and also one note so these are the skills that are very much in demand in terms of MS Office use these are basic things you should at least know these things when you're applying for the job next category is programming language as an engineer in Germany programming language is in high demand whether it's about mechanical field whether it's electronics whether it's electrical whether it's any field you name it but you need your programming skills so these are the programming languages that are mostly asked which is c c plus plus python matlab these are the basic language that are asked so pick one or two and master your language if you do some internship or your thesis these skills can be polished so first you need to get internship and thesis and for those you need to convince the employer that you have these skills and for these you need some certificates so do not forget to have some certificates do not forget to attach some certificates while you're applying in your resume so in case you're looking for internship and you also want to make a classic resume which gets attention just in five seconds do not forget to check this video this video is about how you can make a classic resume this video is about internship so let's go ahead and discuss some other categories if you want to work inside lab in R&D in simulation then you need some software skills for example like Simulink like LabVIEW MATLAB again Python some language skills so these are very important when you're applying basically in automation electrical electronics mechatronics so these skills are very important and much needed there also comment down below which one of these courses you would be taking which will lift your profile i would love to know that and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a useful video and next video will be about soft skills that are needed in german market i have already linked some of the important courses that i could find on the internet that have good reviews please go through the links and also do not forget to collect those certificates because it is very much needed and the employer like it when you submit some of the certificates along with your application it gives a positive impact and lifts your application the next category is mechanical or mechatronics as you all know mechanical and mechatronics is very demanding stream in Germany so here are some of the software skills that you need so these are some of the software skills that you need like CAD CAM SOLIDWORKS ANSYS FEM so combine these with some programming language and your resume is good to go so far if you're finding this video useful please give a like so that I get motivated to create more useful videos for you and let's go into the next category now next category that is high in demand right now is data science and data science is very valuable you have to evaluate data and companies looking for a lot of people who are proficient in these skills do not forget to have one or two skills in your resume so that you can create an impression so these skills like SQL data analysis TensorForce are high in demand. The other two streams that I found very useful is machine learning as well as artificial intelligence. So you have a lot of scope in artificial intelligence in terms of automation and also machine learning, which also comes, you know, basically it is kind of high in demand right now. So if you can get your hands on some of the certificates which are relevant to machine learning as well as artificial intelligence, your profile would be at 
let's talk about some computer science related courses now computer science is also very high in demand in germany as you know that germans are usually very good in mechanical but they're not that much aligned towards computer science because it computer science these are the fields that are very much uh, better in india and in asia so these skills i think we indians can develop these skills so these skills these many skills you need to have when you're applying for computer science or data science related job do not forget to mix and match because sometimes the job demands more than one skill they might even ask for matlab and you are being into data science sql matlab anything could be good but at least have one programming language and the other things related to your field would be good to go so the skills like Java, C, C++, Ruby, Ruby on Rails, SQL, MySQL are high in demand for computer science. Now the web design is also very much relevant to computer science and these are the skills. So it is also a possible stream if you are from computer science, you can also try your luck in web design. Now the next is the data management. Data management or management related courses are also available. Some of the courses are these MS Access, Oracle, IBM, DB2. My SQL, SQL. So these are the courses that are very much in demand. So go through these courses. I have already linked down all the courses that I could find and had good reviews. So do not forget to check the link out. So for the free certificate, you can take LinkedIn trial, free trial for 30 days and you can collect as many certificates as you like. So if you take 30 day premium trial of LinkedIn, you get the courses for free. You can apply as many courses as you like and you get the certificates. And as you can see, the courses are very small. They are like just two hours or three hours long. And so that's what I'm saying. The courses which are popular are very short and they are not that much in depth because I want to learn the subject nicely and thoroughly, which is not possible. But I would suggest you to go through these links because these are professional courses. I have tried both courses and LinkedIn courses I found very short and not in-depth course. When I want to learn for like internship or thesis, I want some information and to learn the course thoroughly. But the LinkedIn courses are not like that. But if you go through these courses, which I have already shared the link, these are like hours of training where you can level yourself up from beginner to intermediate level at least so do not forget to check those courses as well i hope you found this video very helpful in order to understand what skills are needed in your field and also how you can have a free certificate if you like and i will see you in my next video with more useful information till then bye